YouTube, how are we all? It's been a real hot minute and I'm sorry about that. Um, <clears throat> life got a bit crazy as, as you can imagine. Um, it generally does, doesn't it? But today is Tuesday, the 29th of May, 2018. My name's Jan Silver and I've been video logging my journey to and beyond a gastric bypass, which I had, as you all know, 14, 15 months ago. Um, my weight hasn't moved dramatically, but I'm going to see that as a real, real positive um, lately because my food choices haven't been good either. We have had one mega long party this weekend with friends coming over for dinner, my family coming for lunches, and um, I've made really bad choices with food, drank way too much alcohol. It's the same old story with me, but I'm really, really grateful to report that I haven't gained um, any more than two pounds so you know what I say about that my general fluctuation um, and I think in my last video I did talk a bit about feeling hormonal after having the ablation which was supposed to hopefully stop me from having any more periods if you followed my story you know that I have endometriosis and um, the reason for my ablation was to try and stop those really really painful periods well I'm sad to say today I have the endo pain um, yeah I had a feeling like I said to you last time I was feeling hormonal and um, I had a few other indications that something was coming and then today I've got full-on endometriosis pain so I'm gonna take some stomach liners I'm going to pump myself full of ibuprofen and hopefully can um, eradicate it because well I can only hope positively thinking that this isn't going to be the beginning of it again because I've literally only had a few months break haven't I so it would be really sad if I am that one that three percent that it doesn't work for and have to end up having a hysterectomy anyway but we'll just have to wait and see for that um, it's just really shit timing I think I'm fed up with it today because we're going away today in Aggie in our motorhome for three weeks around Spain and Portugal so even getting the stuff that I use here in the UK for my periods. Sorry boys, sorry, not sorry, you know, girly, disgusting, female, menstrual talk. Um, I can't get that in Europe. I don't think, well, I don't want to risk it anyway. So I've just had to rush out today and make sure that I am totally, totally prepared for um, the worst. And hopefully I can just keep it at bay with some um, ibuprofen, I guess. It's now going to absolutely tip it down with rain. This is typical, isn't it? But I just wanted to come on and say hi to everybody. Um, like I said, I haven't gone anywhere. I've just been so busy. I haven't had five minutes to sit down and literally have a think about what I want to talk about. Um, I just thought I'd come on and say hello and hoping you're all really well, healthy and happy. And as you know, I will be um, doing some vlogs on my travels. It possibly won't be weight, weight loss related, well, possibly, it absolutely won't be. But my YouTube channel will switch between weight loss and then my travels. Um, obviously, it'd be good for me and Howie to be able to document our travels a bit. Um, I may try and splice one of his um, things on here, actually, because he's bought himself a new drone and it does some really funky stuff. And he'll obviously be using that and trying it out while we're away. Um, but it does some really, really good funky stuff like flying up away from you and oh even PG is going to come and sit out in the rain with me so yeah even today I've been to see my granddaughter this morning and my daughter spend a few hours with them Mason is going to be here to look after PG which will be good I think she knows that I'm going away she 100% knows because she hasn't really she hasn't really left my side have you hey you're gonna say hi to people she's like I don't like being held don't hold me still mum I just want to be near you I don't want to be on you so Mason's here to look after her and the house and um, yeah and so like I said I'm super excited about going away but I'm really pissed off now that I've now got this really bad tummy pain and it is what it is I guess there's nothing I can do about it I've tried obviously so if this does carry on like this then it obviously means I'm going down the hysterectomy route which I was hoping to avoid but anywho anywho um, I hope the weather improves somewhat because we're getting on a ferry tomorrow with the motorhome so it's a big old how he likes to call it a cruise but it's a ferry we're staying on it overnight it's a 24-hour cruise from Portsmouth to Bilbao so in Spain so I will possibly chat to you from there tomorrow we leave this afternoon I'm gonna get in now before I get absolutely drenched and my hair's the waste of a blow-dry 
take care everybody any questions pop them down below and like I said the next few weeks probably won't be much weight loss related I'll try and keep track of what I'm eating I'm gonna try and be good but no promises there um, speak to you all soon take care bye